Good evening. We're back with more Lord of the Rings LCG, and tonight is the Weather Hills on a Nightmare Difficulty. This quest is can be quite annoying with the weather effects getting surge in the Phase 1. And in order to advance to Phase 2, we need to get four tokens on hunting the orcs, which we get by killing enemies or possibly by getting the concealed orc camp from the orc deck. So, let's see what happens in this one. Sometimes you can get a lot of build up early if you get a bunch of surging cards. doesn't start with a lot of threat in the staging area. So there's time to get set up. Got a pretty decent setup here. One of the mechanics of this quest involves, uh, when you're playing Outlands, it involves managing where the damage goes because there's a couple of cards that could come out of the encounter deck that will blank text boxes, and if you get those on the wrong Outlands allies or on Faramir, that can be a big obstacle. It blanks text boxes of damaged characters, so you want to watch where the damage goes. There, that weather effect also removes damaged characters from the quest. So you definitely want to manage damage for multiple reasons. And as the first weather effect surges, it surges into the card I was just talking about. You have to deal one damage to a hero. And then it attaches to the quest. Treat each character's text box, each damaged character's text box as blank. Doesn't matter with Denethor. Not too much, anyway. And once I clear the location, I got to reveal a card from the orc deck, and that's going to be an Ingmar Marauder, who can sit in the staging area for a turn or two while I get set up. Now, I forgot there that Denethor's text box should be blank, so I shouldn't have been able to transfer a resource from him to her Lewin. So her Lewin should have three resources at the moment, not four. And I'll be working on the side quest, but not really caring whether I clear it or not. So there's a weather effect which adds a threat to the staging area. That is quite an annoying. So there now we're up to 16 or 14 threat in the staging area. I still make two progress. Just not going to be clearing out the active location this round. So here I would have spent two resources on Denethor instead of one and one, because there should have been one more on, on Denethor, so that will uh, be corrected now. Can't use Denethor's ability for as long as we're in phase one, and there's a cold from Angmar on the table. Definitely don't want her Lewin or Aristor getting a blank text box. Ice Storm, assign X damage, where X is the number of quest cards in place. So that's going to be two damage among my characters, and it needs to go on characters who can get a blank text box without being a big problem. So that second damage, I was supposed to assign two, I forgot that there was two quest cards in play. That second damage likely should have gone on the Envoy of Pelar Gear, or possibly on Forlong. 
probably on four long, which would blank his text box. So don't want this enemy attacking and destroying any allies, so the attack will go on Denethor. So Forlong would not be able to ready here with one damage on him, but that's not going to matter. So one enemy down. Ruined Watchtower is just going to sit in the staging area. But it should have done damage to my characters when it came out. Well, it should have done one damage when the Angmar Captain came out. So that damage would go on Forlong as well. So there should be two damage on Forlong now. Questing carefully here to keep my essential Outlands allies out of harm's way. So that cornered orc would deal a damage which would go on the errand rider because of the ruined watchtower. And then the errand rider would die, which so there should just be two damage on four long at the moment. And he wouldn't have been able to do that attack, but I had plenty of other characters available to attack, so no problem. There's another plus eight threat to the staging area. You could make a legitimate case for just removing a token from the mission here, but I opt not to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take the eight threat. There's another enemy, so that damage would go on the errand rider. One of the errand riders. One damage from the ruined watchtower for an orc being revealed. And I'm going to take on both orcs here. Now I don't mind the Angmar captain damaging her Lewin here. It will blank his text box, but I expect to advance into phase two here, which will restore the text box. So that attack that would be the third damage on four long, and then he would be dead now. Which is not going to impact the game because I have a strong board state. So four long should be dead, and the errand rider should have one damage on him. So bring in the side quest and Amon Forn from the out of play area. Orc Ambush is the side quest and Orc Ambush is going to bring an Orc into play engaged with me. And that's not going to proc Ruined Watchtower. Ruined Watchtower procs off of Orcs that are revealed, not added. The orc I will choose will be a Angmar Marauder. When you progress into phase two, you end the current phase, so I can't just kill that orc immediately. We've just ended the combat phase.
so I'm going to be able to go find two other swordsmen here. I am going to clear orc ambush this round. There's the first Ether Swordsman, that's good. And then I will spend the three resources to go get the second one. Just going to count up how much I think I'll need and try to quest carefully. Would have needed to quest with someone other than Forlong. He should be dead, but that's no problem. It's not going to affect the game. So we got Ice Storm, so there's two quest cards in play. Need to deal two damage. Damage text boxes aren't going to matter too much unless another cold from Angmar comes. I don't know if there's more than two in the deck. No more surging for the weather effects, which is nice. So we clear out or ambush. Going to go ahead and move to Amon Forn. Each damaged character does get minus one willpower, but no problem. And the Marauder will attack Denethor most likely, and I don't particularly care if he dies. Except that I don't really want to discard a resource token, so maybe I'll have it go on her Lewin instead. Attacking enemy gets plus three. That's fine. Buffs him up to six to my four shields, so easily take that enemy out. And this should be the final turn, because I have plenty of willpower. I can make all the progress I need in one round. Clear aim on Forn and phase 2B. So I'm guessing I need 34. So we get four there. Would have needed to commit somebody else instead of four long because he should be dead. So probably something like her Lewin for another four. Got plenty of extra characters. I'm just thinking about what would happen if I got that weather effect that, or an effect that deals one damage to all questing characters or something like that. But it would take a combination of two cards to blank to deal a damage to all my questing characters and then uh, and then blank their text boxes and I'm not sure if that combination was actually possible. Probably I didn't need to be so careful. But that orc will make an immediate attack from the staging area thanks to Amon Forn being the active location. No problem. It's going to deal one damage to the warrior of Lasternach, and I have plenty of progress to complete the quest. So, made a minor mistake by forgetting to put out damage from the ruined watchtower, but ultimately, no problem. And this is not a very difficult quest, at least not for this particular deck. It's possible for some pretty nasty things to happen if you don't pay attention to where damage is going on your allies, and then you get caught by surprise by cold from Angnar, Angmar or something like that. Then you can get into a rough situation with the ally swarm deck. So it's important to play around that if you're going to play ally swarm. Really, it's important to play around it with any deck, I think. Don't put damage on characters whose text boxes you rely on. So, thanks for watching.